Thank you for watching my shows and today I'm actually making a recipe for babies. What I'm making today is just a really plain ground beef for babies to eat. So what I do is I have a 90% lean ground beef. This has really no fat which is perfect for the little ones. Um, 10 months and over usually I start giving ground beef like this. So right now this is for our little 10 month old. So what I'm going to do is I have a hot pan here ready. I'm going to add 4 ounces of water. I'm going to add my beef. Great, so there you have your ground beef. Now, another thing that I do at this time is I add a teaspoon of chicken bouillon flavor. I don't add salt, pepper, no seasoning, nothing like that because it is for a baby. But uh, at the same time, you still want to flavor this meat a little bit. So that was all I did. I added a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. So now what we do is we're going to break this up and we're going to cook it. So since it's for a little baby, what you're going to do is you're going to keep breaking it up because you want this to be really broken up so you can feed your baby. The other thing that you do is when this meat is almost done, you can start adding other things like vegetables. You could even put this alongside some mashed potatoes. Like once you have this ground beef done, you could work with it. You could make them a little bit of pasta. What I'm actually going to do with this today is once it's done, I'm going to add a little bit of spinach. And I'm going to make it alongside a little pastini for her. Okay? So remember, we don't add any more seasoning because this is for little babies. And they really honestly don't need more of that sodium. All I added was a teaspoon of chicken bouillon to give it a little flavor. So now basically for the next, I would say, five to eight minutes, we'll keep doing this. We're breaking it up. We're breaking it up. Babies are so picky sometimes, but this recipe is pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have crazy flavor, but the meat itself alone is just a different flavor. And they'll love it. I know my little one is going to love this. I'm going to put it alongside her little pastini. I'm going to put in some of the spinach. The spinach is actually going to melt in. And voila. She's got a delicious little meal. Still cooking nicely. It's been about three minutes. The meat is browning. It's breaking up. We're doing a good job. Mmm. It's been about six minutes and it's almost done. So as you can see, it's built up all this water. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to drain that water right there. You see that? We could just use a spoon or you could pass it through a sieve and you drain that water that has the little bit of oil attached to it too. And then once this is fully cooked, I'm going to add my spinach or like I said, any other vegetable you want. If you're going to add carrots, zucchini, things like that, should be a little bit cooked. But what I have here is I have some spinach that I cut up really small and I'm going to add it once it's cooked. And then you know spinach. Spinach shrivels up immediately. It kind of melts in. So that's exactly what I want. Because our little one doesn't really like spinach. But um, we're going to make sure we get spinach in her. <laughs> anyway, we can, right? Because she has to eat her veggies. So this is also good as kids get older. It's kind of sneaking food in. It's kind of like that whole Jessica Seinfeld thing, which people have been doing that years ago because my daughter's 14 and I remember many years ago she was two and I would sneak in all type of vegetables in her macaroni and cheese, her mashed potatoes. It's something I think we've all done. But of course she wrote the book on it, but we've all done that. So anyway, like I said, here's when then you take out the water and you can sneak in all the vegetables if you have a picky eater or some kids just like it. Our little one loves carrots. So what I've been doing is I boil them and I cut them small and she just picks them and she eats them perfect. So right here, two more minutes and I'm going to drain that. There doesn't go a lot of work into this because remember it's for a baby. So you want it a little bland. But you want to at the same time put her a little bit of flavor. And since I'm um, Hispanic, I want to add my little touch of Latino flavor in there. So here we go. One more minute, I'm draining it. So here we go, I just drained it. I left a tiny bit of water there just because I don't want it to be so dry. 
that then she's like choking. You know, babies, they'll be like, ugh. So another thing is also that you might be thinking, oh gosh, what time do I have that I could do this? First of all, it's a really quick recipe. Baby food doesn't take that long because really you don't have to put a lot of ingredients. You don't have to like season their meat so much. And I've learned that when the baby takes a nap, that's when you do your cooking. So some babies I know only for half an hour, but if your baby has that one hour, two hour nap, choose the longest nap to do your cooking. That way you know that you have enough time. So now at this time I drained it and it's basically cooked. I'm gonna add my spinach. You're gonna add your spinach or any other vegetable. And I'm gonna move it around. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically gonna cook this just till my spinach shrivels up. So then once you finish cooking this, you can freeze it. I'm sure it'll be good in your freezer for more than two weeks, but um, I'm sure you'll use it within that two week range. You know, you take it out and you could use it for many uses. Um, you could feed this with the baby with rice, pasta, mashed potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes, little zucchini sticks on the side, um, put a little sauce on it, put a little angel hair, things like that. Like you can use this ground beef for a few uses or just feed it to her or him like that. So here goes my dish ground beef for baby with spinach so like i said you can freeze half of it and put the rest away for the week i have here two containers one would be for the freezer and one for the refrigerator another thing you could do with this meat is make like a shepherd's pie if your child's a little older you could mess around with it a little more like add more vegetables in the meat put it in your layers of um potato another recipe for shepherd's pie i've had is um, I'll put sweet potatoes instead of regular potatoes and they just love that so you see here you have your meat packed and ready look how yummy it looks I'll even give it a try but look at that so very small perfect for baby and that spinach is so shriveled up and soft it'll melt in her mouth or his mouth or you could still break it up with something else so look perfect baby food made at home it's so easy if you can, perfect. If not, then you don't. But if you can make your own baby food, why not, right? So easy, healthier, better for baby. So I hope you enjoyed this quick ground beef recipe, how to make for your young baby. And uh, any comments, please leave them. And thank you very much. Bye.